Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our beloved Choose to Lose run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with, let's say, niche builds and a bit more variety than uh, you would see in other challenge runs in order to kind of balance out uh, that we're using that stuff. We also made the game a bit more difficult. Reduced our hit points, included the new, better advent version, and banned a couple of items and classes. As always, you can find the details in the description below. Let's jump right into Operation Starving Vanguard, which is Protect the Device mission. Luckily, it's early in the game, so Protect the Device still works. I need the intel. I hate Vigilance, and we can also get lost. Um, well, in the truest sense of the meaning, by shooting so many losts is they will be on the mission as well. The good part about the losts on this mission is we will have a chance to level people up. So, whom are we going to pick for this mission? You know, you know, you know. We got our main team, Skirmisher uh, Reckoner is still wounded. For me, this sounds like an easy-ish mission. And we're going to use Frodo as a specialist here because she will need to become a higher level so that we can actually buy GTS upgrades. But for the remaining part, I would uh, want to give others a chance. You know what? There are pretty good upgrades on the sergeant level. Maybe we're going to take the prime team. Let's go with that for now. We're making armor available, we're making weapons available and utility items. And do we have money to build uh, stuff? Yes, we do, but I think we're fine. Okay, so to remind ourselves, uh, there cannot be doublings uh, or duplicates in the equipment, which means uh, essentially that we will need to find a unique loadout for our Grenadier. I would go with Flashbang and uh, Frag Grenade. Kind of makes sense. She has the light machine gun and the grenade launcher. Oh, it all sounds pretty good. As for quick feet, you know, we're going to be one, one item short. So for quick feet, <clears throat> let's build the nanoscale vest. We didn't have any of those in our previous runs. So quick feet actually will get that extra health, which is fantastic got six health now and therefore can be the tank of the team jessica rabbit will get the smoke grenade traditional handgun marksman rifle and we got frodo finally rocking the mad kit and do we want to have that increased hit chance or do we actually go with the two damage advanced stock i think we're going with the advanced stock well the aim is pretty decent hmm I'll take the stock because that'll give us options with potential overwatch and really, really hard to hit targets. Elsewise, I think the only other person who has a stock is up here, right? His weapon. <clears throat> yeah. The words has a stock as well. I, th I think it's still the right uh, play. Okay, so this is going to be our team. Let's jump right into the mission and see how well we can do against hordes of undeads plus a couple of enemy advents. So one of the things that we definitely could do is a research of the lost corpses as that will give us the lure or lure and the lure is going to be helpful for some gameplay. You guys wanted to see it and of course we're going to show it. So first things first. We're going to move up and there are already a couple of losts. Okay, cool. Fantastic. I think we can push relatively far. This here is good. Jessica Rabbit. Frodo on the other hand moves over there and Quick Feet definitely moves over there. All right, decent first round positioning. I think we got 30 hit points, if I'm not mistaken. 
so that's 27 out of 30 hit points. Might as well, for the time being, Moving. move towards the protect the device. Orders confirmed. Moving out. All right. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Let's move all the way over Moving here. Out. And quick feet also moves over here. Good, we're bypassing quite a bit of content. As long as we're not jumping down, we should be fine. Plus, the sector begins to clean house down here. That is not uh, what I was expecting. Good, we got a pack right underneath us and we got one over there so far we're looking at 24 21 hit points so we gotta be relatively speaking fast whilst not pulling that entire pack over there hmm What we could do is jump down, ignore those guys, and start engaging If we jump all the way down here, we still got the sword attack. So that would give us some optionality against uh, the sector, but I think what we're going to do is we're taking our sweet time for once. Moving on target location. And we're opening the door. Let's move all the way over here. We're going to drop down and then essentially are going to fight through here into the, uh, this area question how do we deal with our sniper that'll be an interesting question we don't want to get too close to that pack we've already seen there are four enemies here so this here seems like a good place no line of sight to anyone and Wurtz can also get over here a bit convoluted not we lost a bit momentum this round not the not the easiest uh, approach but if I, I if i would have jumped down here this pack would have um, additionally engaged with us and i really didn't feel that it was the best idea if we're staying where we are this is going to be a problem but we could get rid of this guy right away and would have just one sector, uh, sector to deal with. I think that's a fair trade. Sector would potentially mind, con uh, mind spin. Okay, not the end of the world. I think that this here looks like the middle cover that I was looking for. Yep, we're going to be spotted and that's okay, that's totally fine. That's the pack I wanted to fight initially. Couple of losts on top. Not a big deal. Moderate chances to hit though, which is which is suboptimal. Let's get in and see how how we can deal with both of the sectors, shall we? 
So if we were to launch a grenade, first things first. I think we should be fine. Uh, this here would be a great position, but really bad for grenade, uh, grenade uh, utilization. I think we're going to go over here. And that's a fantastic, that would be a fantastic grenade. So that's one option. The other one, of course, is a flashbang grenade. What are we looking at? Okay, we could hand over another action, but that would only be a pistol shot. All right, we can't fully get over here. That's unfortunate, but we're fine for now. Let's start with uh, getting the sectors out of their cover. That'll potentially provoke more reaction from the lost. All right, a swarm is nearby. That does not mean that they are already here yet. Decent position over here, thanks to the advanced uh, stock. These guys here will die regardless if we hit or not. Okay, we still got a combat protocol, shouldn't forget about that. And this here could be a kill. Fantastic. All right, both of our tanks are in the front and we're further behind. I don't like the half cover. We could go into an overwatch. We potentially would trigger a normal shot uh, from the trooper. We're going to take damage, like, likely going to take damage either way. We could go to here. There's a chance of pulling another pack. We could go to here full cover. Those two, however, would still be exposed. 35% sh uh, shot is not the best chance. However, given that we would reduce him to two hit points if we miss, it's also not bad. So might as well try it. Okay, we were lucky on uh, that one. We're down to 15. Keep the on. This guy is fleeing, which is fine. And now we got to deal with more loss. All right, and even more loss. And even more losses. Okay, we got to be careful. Do not underestimate the power of uh, them in the early game. Specifically, if we're lacking a between the eyes option. And even more losses. Okay. So a couple of things that work just like I was hoping it would. And a couple of things that clearly did not work as I was hoping it would. The engagement was fine. I think that went down as expected. Some of the other stuff did not go just as well. I'll leave those guys behind for now. We still have 15 hit points on the target left. 
might as well begin to soften up the enemies. Getting a bit closer, not so close that, that we would uh, be in trouble. Right, this here will be difficult, but it'll kill the guy. We should get uh, a headshot for that, yes. And what's the right decision? So it might have not looked like much, but we need to let them come a bit closer. Plus, we actually moved our front line up. Down to 11. Gotta be careful. Now the loss do not always move into our direction. There's about a 66% that they move into our direction, but a 33% that they move into the enemy's direction. I would guess that some of them at least will start hitting the enemy. And given that there is a sector, I was sort of hoping that that would pressure the sector, of course. Okay, let's start with the obvious here. to reload Need a resupply. Well, it's going to be a bit more tricky let's start dealing with those guys So that's two down. Care of. That's three down. Problem is that those guys will not immediately die. Moving on. And let's try to get as many of them off of the playing field as humanly possible. All right, couple of headshots. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Moving over. Okay. That's a free kill. Moderate chances in all directions, none of which I would take immediately. Moving to designated coordinates. Let's make sure we get the two guys up here out of the way. Wait a second, that would could be a kill. Okay, we're going to play it like that. Setup. Even though it means that we're out of ammunition and will need to reload next turn. That's, That's a kill. Ammo fast. That is hopefully a kill. And we gotta reload. All right, we're potentially, there is a chance that we're getting hit. So we either have uh, the choice for 
a chance to kill him with a sniper or a 50-50 on the pistol headshot. I could give over a teamwork, but that would not give us any leverage against the guy. So what we are going to do, although it sucks, is we're going to try to snipe him. Of course, it does not hit. Okay, we're going to take one hit. Not sure how that could happen. Yep, Jessica Jones takes the damage, <laughs> he turned fire, uh, kills him. Okay, that's cool, I like it. That is actually not bad. Okay, that's 100% kill. Thanks to the stock. That is another kill. Now, let's move up. Is that already triggering? Yep, it is. Oh, really? Heal. Okay, well, that sucks. Okay, cool. Good, so we got that out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. So what's our chance to deal with a, uh, with a drone here? Oh, what? Temporary control this unit? Mmm, okay, could it heal us? Potentially, who knows? That's a 40% chance. Or we could just shut it down for now. That is intriguing. Given that it has so little hit points... That could even be a one-shot with combat protocol, which is potentially the better choice here, to be entirely honest. All right, let's try to uh, take it out. There we go. There we go. Fantastic. 60% chance against the sector. Moving up, we could go with a flashbang, which might not be the worst idea, to be honest. We move all the way over here, flanking the sector, and then he's flashbanged, which will make his life an absolute misery. But it's also 60% chance to just hit him. Pretty decent chances to hit him from above here. Okay, let's start and see if we can if we can start cleaning this up. I would like to go for the Advent Officer. Problem with that is well, there is a chance that we can actually kill him. Let's try that. No, it's missed, and that is okay. It it happens. Okay, we're going to go with flashbang. And I still have uh, the teamwork left over. So we could have gotten uh, a teamwork over here and then just Comet protocol That would have been an option, which is why I left it open. I will go with a pistol for now. It's also a miss. Okay. It happens. Don't sweat it. Oh, 
full disorientation. Sounds like the lost are getting a lot closer to our position. Interesting, he can still use marking. Which I was not sure that he could, to be honest. Another lost swarm. Hello there. Well, guess who's in the middle of this freak show? Damn right. Advent. Alright, we're reloading. No need to be shy about that. Um, and let's get the dashers out of the way because they can actually reach us. One down. Two down. Continuing to reload. No, both of these dashers would indeed die if we were just going to take shots with our stock. And that's maybe not the worst idea to just barrage that sector. Alternatively, let's move over here. We got three shots, so might as well make it count. That's oh, a 100% kill. And let's set up the sector. Fantastic. Six points of damage, just what we were looking for. That was the opposite of what we're looking for. I'm still trying to get rid of the dashers. It's not that simple. This guy is far enough away. So might as well continue to hit on that sector. Fantastic. Could hit him, but potentially not kill him. But still, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I, I still have the option for teamwork. Okay, 50-50, that was good. Definitely can't kill the other one. But we could teamwork and move into full cover. I think that's what we're going to do. That means together with the marking, we're still at moderate cover. This guy is trying to change sides. Shoots into full cover. Pointless. Pointless, of course. And we've now established a nice little chokehold. Our position is superior. Whilst he is battling with the fallout of his position. And also gets a little bit a, sl a pat on the back a little love tap all right time to clean up that's a kill and we're reloading. I'm all out. That's another kill. Thanks to that advanced Enemy stock. Destroyed. Just gotta give it to the uh, to the stock. It is a damn good item. Down. Holy shit! Please, someone tell me that specialists are bad like the reddit community often thinks no longer a threat. what an absolute powerhouse all 
All right. And coincidentally enough, guess who is flanked? Damn right. Advent is regretting their life choices. Sniper moves up and let's try to feed the kills to her. Fantastic. Moving up. Alright, we're overwatching. Some reloading and I think there is just one lost left over. And that might be it. Not the cleanest of all missions, but overall, okay. I miscalculated the one engagement, which cost us... That cost us a hit with a loss. But other than that, I think the rest was okay. Fantastic. Good, 41 enemies. And I'm contemplating whether taking one hit point of damage was a good or a bad effort. All right, the elders, as always, have total faith in the ability of the peacekeepers. If we keep this up, the aliens don't stand and we got commander. three promotions. Not one, not two, but three promotions. That's what I wanted to see. Normally, I would go for lightning hands, because who wouldn't? It is such an incredible ability. Dead Eye isn't bad either. Um, what, what we're seeing, though, is... The way that I'm normally building snipers is you go long watch uh, into lightning hands, uh, then essentially quick draw um, uh, the ability to a uh, fanfire. No, not fanfire. The ability to hit all uh, targets, and then ultimately uh, uh, fanfire in between the aim. And the problem that I'm uh, that I'm uh, seeing with not go, uh, with now taking the off skills is return fire is really a skill that only triggers if you're at the front line to a degree, which by the way promotes things like uh, lightning hands. But now dead eye, which is the most sharpshooter-ish skill that you will ever find, promotes the exact opposite. So I will need to see how this actually plays out. Dead eye can be a nice damage buff so in itself it's not a bad ability uh, we got phantom which i think is an okay ability uh, of course the blade master portion is a bit better here it is very clear everybody would go for shadow step not triggering overwatch is just absolutely massive but since we're anyways with phantom uh, the shadow strike which would be the worst pick in this uh, region isn't that bad because it gives you a bonus to aim and critical chance and since conceal is the next one which we're going to take it actually plays out nicely it's more like a scout ish build uh, so it's not completely scrambled up like the sniper build uh, is going to be this here is a close one. Demolition isn't bad. I tend to go more into the demolition route. I've also played with suppression quite a bit, which is okay, I would say. Again, not fantastic, but it's a continuous kind of suppression. Demolition I would rate higher than suppression, so we're taking suppression. And I'll hopefully will be able to show you some suppression play. Also got a lot of lost corpses and got some intel. Cool. Fantastic. I have not checked how long Jessica will be out. Well, that's seven days. Not the worst. Not the worst. Good. And potentially we got a bond between both of them. Sure, why not? Fantastic. Got another bond going. Reduce contact cost. That would be the equivalent of 40 intel for now. And we're not going to take that. But I want to finish the soldier because we've already committed to that. 
and afterwards we're making contact with the region. Now, total shocker, the aliens are trying to do a project called Avatar. I know you've never heard about that, it came completely out of the blue. And we got ourselves a squaddy. Well, that is not what I was hoping. I was actually hoping for Colonel. So, whom do we got? We got another Grenadier here. That in itself is not wrong. But I'm less excited about the actual rank of the soldier. I suppose it's okay, but potentially a bit of a waste for six days of scanning it's okay not the end of the world we got some supplies which i'm not going to take we're instead going to make contact and then continuing to make contact that way we have more um, covered ops missions resistance operations rather resistance operation missions and at the same time we will get more income GTS is exactly what we were looking for, and we're going to need a new Ranger. Wait a second. Let's just double check. My memory serves me well. Three Grenadiers. Yeah, we have only one Ranger, and that means we need more Rangers. John McMullen becomes that Ranger. New tactics, squad size, requires 100 supplies and we can already buy it. Hmm. Do We do not have the black market. Oh, that is unfortunate. I could now go and prioritize that. I'm potentially not going to do it. Instead, let's make contact so that when the supply drops happens, uh, we can effectively we can effectively benefit off of it. Resistance Radio is inspired, so might as well do that. Uh, this here is a complete kind of yeah opposite run or alternative run. And I also want to kind of represent that with the research. We're going to go deeper into the Golden Path than I normally would. Save a few days off of uh, the research from the Resistance Radio for now. And we got ourselves a faction hero, ladies and gentlemen. We may have chosen a different means Is this Dragonova? On timed mission, timer does not um, start until we lost consumer. That's a strong one. That's okay. All right, fantastic. So wait a second. Not so fast. First of all, we got Halop here. Let's promote him. Uh, yet another Ranger. Fantastic. Halop, welcome to the team, man. Got some agility right there. All right. Cool. Very good. And since we do have some agility, how about Quick Feet, who is the main ranger at the moment, uh, just takes that agility. Uh, it sounds like a plan. More dodge equals better survivability. Keep in mind, all of the hit points are reduced, so you can already see that here uh, with a sergeant only having 6 health. Normally that would be by now 8 health plus 1. So... That's going to be interesting. Maybe I will upgrade the armor soon-ish. Plated armor, that is. But before we're doing that, here is the supply rate, and that is exactly what we needed, because keep in mind, we are looking for supplies to then also get a squad upgrade. Supply rates are tendentially more difficult, but they are non-timed missions. I wouldn't be surprised if we're finding stun lances for the first time and other harder packs. Typically, supply rates rank one force level above the normal force uh, level that you're currently playing at so what's going to happen in the next episode until then guys i appreciate your viewership if you want to help the channel leave a comment and a like uh, down below that tells the youtube algorithm that you're actually enjoying the run take care and have a good one see you next time bye bye